What are the three different types of scripts in Roblox Studio? At the moment, we have the script, the local script, and the module script, all three with different types of uses and functionalities. To start off with the normal script, in Roblox Studio, a normal script is a script type that allows developers to create and execute LUA code to add interactivity and functionality to their games and experiences. Normal scripts are often attached to various objects within the game world, such as parts, models, or even different services, such as server script service, workspace, and several others. When the game runs, the code inside the normal script is executed, allowing it to perform various actions and control the behavior of objects in the game. Some of those actions include controlling the behavior of objects, managing game mechanics, and even adjusting things such as lightings or even stats on the player. That's about it for the normal script, let's get into the local script. A local script is another type of script inside of Roblox Studio that shares similarities with regular scripts, but with a few key differences. Local scripts are also written in LUA, just as in everything inside of Roblox Studio, but they are primarily used for creating client-side functionality instead of server-side functionality which means they run only on the player's device, which is the client side of things, and do not affect the server side game state. This makes them suitable for handling UI elements such as GUI, user interf interface, and even user input. It can also handle animations such as tweening and other client specific interactions. Tween can also be done with the regular script, but sometimes it's better to use a local script. A few things to remember about local scripts is that they are client-side executable, which means local scripts run on the client side, allowing them to handle user input once again, create visual effects sometimes, and even manage the player's interface. Local scripts can also communicate with regular scripts and other local scripts using remote events or bindable events to exchange information between the server and the client. So all in all, a local script can create a graphical user interface for the player, play animations on their character, or handle user input like mouse clicks or key presses. And last but not least, a module script. A module script is a different type of script used in Roblox Studio, serving a specific purpose. Code encapsulation and reusability. Module scripts allow developers to create self-contained blocks of code that can be easily shared and reused across multiple parts of a game or even in different games. Here are a few key features of a module script. Module scripts have code encapsulation, which means module scripts contain functions, variables, and other code, but they do not execute automatically like regular scripts. Instead, they serve as a container for code that can be accessed and, ut and utilized by other scripts. They also have great reusability. Because of their encapsulation, module scripts promote code reusability. You can create common functionalities or utilities in a module script and then require it in other scripts to use those functionalities. Module script can contain common functions like math calculations, database interaction code, or even complex systems like an inventory management system that can be used across different parts of the game. In summary, Roblox Studio provides three main types of scripts. Regular scripts, local scripts, and module scripts. Regular scripts are used for general game logic, local scripts are used for client-side functionality, and module scripts are used for code encapsulation and reusability. By understanding the differences and purposes of each script type, developers can efficiently build and manage complex and interactive experiences within the Roblox platform. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video just as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.